How many times have you heard no to implementing a feature on mobile just because the screen was small? It's way too complex for mobile. The users will make mistakes. Their productivity will drop. They might abandon the application. You hear these justifications when you propose a new complex feature for mobile interface. The truth is, these were valid concerns in the past, but that's simply not true anymore. The trend is changing. Hi, I'm Shogi, design lead at TQs, a global UX design studio specializing in SaaS products. I've seen users struggle to use desktop-like features on smaller screens. Here are some of those. To write, edit and format text documents, to create and manage data in a table, managing projects and interacting with complex data. We'll compare these features across traditionally designed products versus the innovative ones. Let's start with editing documents. Many apps such as Microsoft Word and Google Docs offer rich features, but using them on mobile screens can be a painful process. Take Google Docs for instance. You have a document and you want to set a specific style as heading 1 or 2. How would you do it? We'll first type the text. Double tap to select it. We'll adjust the selection by using the markers given. We'll scroll down to view the top bar. Now this can be time consuming according to Fitz law as the target button in this case is not visible for the user. We'll select the text format icon which opens the bottom sheet drawer. Select style which shows the options for text styles. We'll choose heading 1. To go back we can select anywhere outside the screen to close the bottom sheet drawer. That was 8 steps just to add a heading. This was time consuming and cumbersome for the user. And doing this multiple times could end up frustrating the user and could also lead them to abandon the application. Let's try to do the same thing in craft. We'll first type the text. Next, we'll select the text formatting button in the toolbar above the keyboard. From the available options, we'll choose heading. Tap outside the bottom sheet to close and we are done. That was just four steps. It is clearly faster and more intuitive than Google Docs. It reduces the cognitive load and improves overall efficiency for the user. It allows them to focus more on writing instead of navigating through menus to apply a specific style. This streamlined approach allows the users to create professional and polished documents on the go directly from their mobile devices. Since we are talking about documents, how do we miss out on the most feared UI component on mobile? Tables. Let's try to add a table in the same document for a pricing section. We'll see how Google Docs and Craft handle these tasks. We'll open Google Docs, scroll to access the top bar, select the plus button, select table from the available list of options. We'll set the number of rows and columns, select the CTA button to insert the table. Steps 2, 3 and 6 violate Occam's razor. It is possible to streamline this process for a faster table creation. Now that we have a table, let's try to add data to it. To add data, select the cell, double tap to enter edit mode. We'll quickly fill in the content in all the cells. As you can see in the last column, we have added an amount for each phase. We want to add the total in the last row. We'll need to do that manually since there is no provision to add formulas for tables in Google Doc. Let us try to repeat the same process for craft. Select the backslash icon from the toolbar above the keyboard. Scroll down to the insert table option. Choose the desired row and column layout. Now here we do not get individual controls for setting rows and columns separately like Google Doc. Once the table is added, you can select the three dots within the cell to open the table menu. There is an header option. We'll select it to either set a particular row or column as a header. For our use case, we'll choose header row. This is an additional function missing in Google Doc which improves data clarity. We'll tap outside the bottom sheet drawer to go back to the main document. Let us now add data to the table. Double tap a particular cell to enter edit mode. We'll quickly add data to the entire table. We'll select the cell where we want to have the total. Select the three dots to open the table menu. Select insert formula. You can choose from the suggested ones. For our case, we'll select sum. What craft also allows is to select the entire column above the cell for adding the total. Hit done and the total is added. We can see that craft's approach offers quicker access, has fewer steps, has valuable functionalities like headers and formulas, making it easy to use tables on mobile. Moving on from documents and tables, let us now explore project management on the go. Think of project managers and team members who need to stay on top of their projects with deadlines and dependencies all on their phones. These apps can generally be clunky on mobile screens. Let's take an example of Airtable. We'll start with an empty base in the workspace. 
Select the name of the table in the top to access the settings. Rename the title to the project name. To change details of a particular task, scroll down to the table section. Select table 1 to access table customizations. To edit task details, select customize fields, then select add a new field. We'll rename this to start date. In field type, select date. Select save button in the top right corner. Similarly, we'll also add another entry for end date. Go back to the previous menu. Select done. Select done again to come back to the main screen of the project. Let us try to add a task to this particular project. Select the plus button in the bottom bar. Enter name of the task. You can add notes to add description to this particular task. Tap the assignee field. Select the name of the member to assign this task to. Tap status field to access the bottom sheet drawer. We'll select to do for this particular task. Select start date to open the date picker. Select a desired date. Select done in the top right corner. Close this view to return to the main view where the task has now been added. Both tasks have a lot of steps. What can cause frustration for any project manager would be the need to go back and forth between menus to set up things. One can easily get frustrated and end up not using the app to create a task or a project. Let us see how Notion allows you to do the same thing. To create a new project, select new. Enter details about the project. You can see that Notion sets up groups for different statuses. This saves time and effort compared to manually creating them in Airtable. To add a new task to the project, select the plus new button in the respective status group. Enter name of the task. Assign it to the respective team member. Enter due date. Now to add a custom field to the task, select add a property. Choose the desired type. In our case, we'll select date. Rename it to start date. Select done to go back. Tap outside the bottom sheet drawer. You can see the new field has now been added. Select to set the date for start date. Tap to go back to the main project view. The task has been added to the project. We can see that Notion streamlines project setup by offering pre-built elements like status groups. This is better than repetitive field creation steps in Airtable. It has a single back button for returning to previous screens, whereas Airtable has multiple done confirmations. This reduces cognitive load. It also allows adding custom fields directly in the task, avoiding switching between menus like in Airtable. This improves user flow, reduces user frustration. This also promotes clear hierarchy and navigation. Now let's talk about another hurdle for mobile screens, visualizing large data sets and interacting with them. To learn more, we'll use examples from the fintech domain. With more users accessing their investments on mobile, representation of market indices in an effective manner becomes crucial. Traditionally, fintech mobile apps offered restricted range of chart options. Apps like IND Money provide basic functionalities for line and candle charts, reserving detailed chart analysis for desktop versions. Here in IND Money, one can change the duration with the preset options given below. To switch between line and candle chart, you can use this button. This approach disadvantages professional traders on mobile, limiting their access to tools for studying market trends effectively. Apps like TradingView are changing the game by bringing desktop-grade charting to mobile devices. They demonstrate how complex features can be optimized for touch-based interactions and smaller screens, employing UX principles for more intuitive experience. One can easily interact with the chart by dragging the y-axis. One can also pinch in and pinch out to change the x-axis. Pan left and right to navigate across the chart. Let's add a drawing to this chart. Select the drawing tool from the toolbar. If you notice, the icon button for drawing clearly leverages gestalt principle. The bottom sheet drawer has options to choose which are touch friendly. The bottom sheet drawer presenting drawing tool offers easy access adhering to fits long. One can quickly navigate between the type of line and also navigate between the menus. It also has press and hold interaction to add a particular drawing as a favorite. By minimizing the need for extensive scrolling and keeping frequently used options readily available, Trading View reduces time and effort required for the user to select the desired tool. Following Pragnan's law, users can easily choose the type of line they want to draw with clear visual cues and minimal text labels. Despite offering powerful tools, TradingView maintains a clean and uncluttered interface, adhering to the aesthetic usability effect. 
by prioritizing mobile optimized data visualization and leveraging UX principles, fintech apps can cater to a wider range of users, enhancing overall user experience and empowering them with tools to make informed financial decisions. We explored apps that streamline creating documents and tables for mobile devices. Additionally, we saw how apps with intuitive navigation can enhance product usability, especially for apps like project management and interacting with complex data. By leveraging UX principles, you can design mobile experiences that empower users and drive product adoption. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content on creating exceptional user experiences. Let us know in the comments what other UX challenges you would like to see tackled. Thanks for watching.